As you predict, your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a great second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Gentlemen, I've got questions for you. And here they are. Gentlemen, who will your wife say is in the mood for a quickie more often? You or her? Rich? <laughs> her? Her. Um... Probably her. Um, I'm usually preoccupied with uh, a lot of other things. Yes, I understand. Work yeah. and Jeff. Absolutely her. See it? Oh yeah. No. Yeah, because I, well, we're on such opposite schedules. Uh, she's more awake during the day, and I'm I got asleep. You. So. Okay, Patrick. Uh, definitely me. It's you. It's me. She's always grading papers. She's a teacher. And I was hoping she's grading oh, yeah. papers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. David. Me. I'm me. I'm ready to go at any time. You are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll try to control yourself for the next half hour, will you? Gentlemen, what will your wife say she was wearing the last time she modeled something for you that you really didn't like at all? What was she wearing, Jeff, the last time she modeled something for you um, you didn't like at all? Probably her uh, a white jumpsuit. White jumpsuit? You didn't yeah, like? it was really baggy. Baggy, Did, Didn't nah. show her off very well. No, of course not. Patrick? A uh, blue sweater vest. It belonged to her father. It was baggy. It was old. A and blue sweater vest. Okay, David? A pink and black uh, dress she was wearing, I just didn't like it. Didn't like the pink and black dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rich. Uh, the outfit she was going to wear for the show. Um, <laughs> I just didn't like it. She she was uh, really nervous about what she what was, was going to wear. What um, was it? It was a, I can't really remember exactly. It was a green top. Uh, had had some designs on it. Green top with designs on it she was going to wear for the show. Yeah. All right, fine. Here's the last of our five-point questions. Gentlemen, how will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. I know that my wife was once really romantic with blank. But if I were a woman, I wouldn't let that creep get his hands on me for sure. Give me a first name only, please. Patrick? David. David. You were a woman, you wouldn't let that creep get his hands on you, huh? Not at all. All right, you know him? No. No. David. Rick. A different David, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's okay. Scared me. He didn't look like he was gonna reach over and slap you, I just, you know. <laughs> Who, who is it, David? Rick. Rick? Yeah, oh, ex-boyfriend. I figured that part, yeah. Creep, huh? Creep. Really? Yeah. You know him? Yes. Oh, uh, creep. Yes, big time. All right, Rich. Mike. Mike? Yes. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, sad. I'm so sorry it's sad, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff. Jimmy. Bad. Oh, Nothing. bad Jimmy! <laughs> Nothing like me. Of course not. All right, gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands are predicting what their wives will say right after these messages. Welcome back to the newlywed game. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that great second honeymoon. So, ladies, I'm so excited about these questions, and we're so glad you're back. Here's our first one. Ladies, who is in the mood for a quickie more often, you or your husband? Margie. Oh, this one's so easy. Is it? I, do, I like long and luxurious, and I would say he would tend to do the quickie. He's it's in the mood for the quickie long. more often. Yeah, okay. He predicts I like you sessions. Say, pardon me? I like sessions. Oh, good. He likes quickie. <laughs> yeah, all right. He predicted you would say that uh, card, please. Yeah, he is in the mood for a quickie more often. Yes. You watch him keep control of him for the next half hour anyway. Jackie? Um, I'm going to say him also because he always, he'll come up and it's like I'm on the computer and he'll start saying, oh, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. 
It's like anywhere. It's oh, like man, that's really you. romantic, isn't it? Walks yeah. up, slaps you on the back and says, let's do it. Huh? <laughs> Patrick says that, uh, yeah, he's in the mood, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Presley. Oh, this is so easy. It's definitely me. You? I'm, I'm always in the mood. All the time. Look at old Patrick, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Patrick's going, no kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one who hunts him down. Easy, okay. Patrick. <laughs> he said it definitely is, uh, yeah, you are. That's <laughs> good. Hey, Anne, who is it? Thank God, I wasn't going to be the only one. Um, it's uh, me. It's I, you? I prefer... <laughs> I'm the one that's always asking him for the uh, the quickies. Oh, no kidding. All right, he predicted you would say it definitely is. It is you, yes. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. What were you wearing the last time you modeled something for your husband that he really didn't like at all? What were you wearing? A Jackie? A dress. I know, but what, what dress? Um, is this red thing that he A just... red thing. All right, he predicted that what you were wearing that he didn't like was your blue sweater vest. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like most of my clothes, so it was a tough choice. Leslie. I think it was a white dress, or I'm sorry, a white uh, jumpsuit that he said my behind looked like this in. A white jumpsuit, all right. Yes. He predicted you would say it was uh, uh, the baggy white jumpsuit. Yeah, that's the one. I didn't say it was that big. I'm a throw it away after He said your what looked like what? My behind looked like this. I yes. didn't say all that. Yes, he, yeah, he, he did. He told us it looked baggy, is what he said. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. I appreciate uh, that. It, it's gone. After today, it's gone. Trash. Okay. And? Well, I put on a lot of things he doesn't like, but the most recent would have to be last night when we were deciding what to wear for today, which uh -huh. was this blue top he said looked much too conservative. Blue top would look conservative. All right. No, nah, he predicted mm. it was uh, top card. No, it, it was the green top that you were going to wear today. <laughs> Should try it on a lot of things. I know, yeah. But I like the red one. Did yeah. you pick that out, Rich? Uh, no, but um, it was one, one of uh, two things she was going to wear. It was well, Chinese. Nice. So. Uh, what do you think, Margie? Uh, I'm hoping that he said I have a blue, pooky, bubbly kind of a dress. A pooky? It's got little bumpies all over it, and he wouldn't tell me what he didn't like about it because he values his life, but he just said, I don't, <laughs> it just isn't my favorite. I see, all right, he, 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 I don't know if he mentioned pookie or not, but he did mention, card for me, please. Now, it's your pink and black dress that he hates. Oh. The one you were showing me this morning. I didn't model it. You said emphasis well, was, was on, on the model. Hair. Well, it was on the I hair. put the blue dress on. I said model. She, he said model. Yeah. Model. Holding it up on a hanger is not modeling. No, it certainly isn't. You gotta Thank put it you. on. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't value his life very much, does he? No, we're yeah. in trouble. Here, let me ask you another question so we can get him out of trouble. <laughs> Ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. I know that my wife was once really romantic with blank, but if I were a woman, I wouldn't let that creep get his hands on me. Give me a first name only, please, here, Les. You were once romantic with blank, but if he was a woman, he wouldn't let that creep get his hands on you. Oh. Him. Oh, Somebody. my gosh. Um, I would say it'd have to be Jimmy. Jimmy. All right, he said it had to be Jimmy. Yeah. Is Jimmy really a creep? He's a rock and roll slug. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, that's bad. And? Oh, God, I might get in trouble for saying this. Um, I'd have to say Mike. Mike. It's funny your husband predicted you would say Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Why, why would you get in trouble? Well, because he's not that bad, but... Well, your husband called him a creep. He was the best man at my wedding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, How do you know he was? Uh, she said he was. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Margie. Well, I, we can actually top that one. I'm going to say Rick, only because after I dated him, he ended up living with his ex-wife so i'm assuming he would think he's a creep after that so after you dated rick he then went and dated david's or lived live with david's ex-wife exactly you Man. should get a prize just for understanding that <laughs> that's a soap opera isn't it yeah absolutely really okay is he a creep oh no what? comment oh, okay you don't like this guy for two reasons yeah. don't you rick yeah <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
All right, Jackie. Um, I guess Javier. Javier. Uh, the only boyfriend he's met that he of mine that he knows. Yeah, we got another name here. Uh, who's David? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't know you met him. Why well, wouldn't let him hear you either? <laughs> <laughs> All right, couples, thank you very much. We'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say. Right after these messages. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Ladies, your husbands are now secluded off stage, and it's your turn to predict what they will say. I'll remind you that these questions are now worth 10 points, and our first one goes like this. Ladies, what will your husband say was the least important factor to you in choosing a husband? A brain, a body, or a personality? What was the least important factor, Les? Least. The least oh, important factor. Body. Body was body. least important. Yeah. You don't care what he looks like? No, I need to be able to talk to him, but he needs to have some zing, too. Some zing? Yep. Gotcha. Okay, what was the least important, Jackie, in picking a husband? Um, his body. His body was least important. His body. But he has a good body. Yeah, in some parts. <laughs> Fine. Margie, what was least important? I would definitely have to say body. His body was least important. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's a little stouter than I usually go for. The but he's got a great brain and a great personality, so. Stout means fat? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. I was being discreet. I'm trying to be politically correct. Anne? Um, his body. His body was least important. Yeah, I, I was more into his great personality. Yeah, see the difference between fine. guys and... and <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? Just amazing, yeah. yeah. I like Pamela Anderson for her personality. <laughs> Next question, ladies. If NASA had been doing a scientific study in your bedroom last weekend, and someone suddenly shouted, uh, Houston, we have a problem. What will your husband say they'd have been referring to? Be specific. NASA's doing this scientific experiment, Jackie, in your bedroom last weekend. And suddenly someone shouted, uh, Houston, we have a problem. What would they be referring to? Probably to the lack of action going on. Uh, there's no action. <laughs> no action. No action. Okay. Margie. I was going to say too much activity. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. There's too much activity in this bedroom. Okay? According to who? Uh, everybody. Oh, I see. <laughs> Anne. Oh, God. I don't want to say this. Um, you, you can just whisper. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that it, it's uh, sleepy in there. <laughs> there, there. There's a lot of sleep going on there. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, there's sleep going on. Yeah. Too much sleep. Too much sleep. On whose behalf? Both of ours. Both of ours. <laughs> Leslie? Um, I think it was the fact that he wasn't there. He worked all weekend, so I was by myself. So we have a problem. There's someone missing. I was flying solo. <laughs> You're flying alone. I see. Okay, 25-point bonus question. Ladies, what room in your home will your husband say has the brightest light bulb? Your answers must match exactly. And? Oh, gosh. Uh, bedroom. Bedroom, Leslie? Our bathroom. Bathroom, Jackie. Living room. Living room, Margie. Bedroom. The bedroom. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the other right game right after these messages. Hey, we have returned, so have the gentlemen. And gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, was the least important factor to your wife in choosing a husband, a personality, a body, or a brain? The least important factor, Patrick, in your wife choosing a husband. Was a it a body. personality, body, or brain? A body. A body. Definitely a body. All right. She said least important factor was body. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say definitely a body? Well, I, I definitely have one. <laughs> oh. Hey, we've all got one, man. What do you think about this, Jeff? Um, absolutely body. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, she because, said that. Yeah, she just wouldn't, she, she's into personality and things like that, so. So she chose you off your personality. Mm -hmm. I see, okay, she said the least important factor for her was body, right. you got it. Sure. Yeah. Now, Rich, what do you think about this, sir? 
I'm gonna have to go with Body Bob. Really, Body Bob? Okay. <laughs> she went with uh, Body Bob. Yeah. the least important factor? Personality? Was it body? Was it brain? Uh, I have to say personality. Personality, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she, she liked your body. Yeah. She liked your brain. Yeah, she thought it was pretty smart. Yeah, okay. Had her fooled. Yeah, had her fooled. <laughs> All right, she said that, uh, no, it's body was the least important factor. You have a great personality. Why would that not be important to me? But, but you told me you liked my body most of all. <laughs> No, 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 no. She told us your body was stout. Oh, I didn't emphasize that. Oh, you did too. She said, my husband's stout. I said, does that mean fat? She says, shh. Oh. Huh. This is getting a little too controversial. Yeah. Well, you think that's controversial? Wait to hear this one. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, if NASA had been doing a scientific study in your bedroom last weekend, and someone had suddenly shouted out, uh, Houston, we have a problem. What would they have been referring to? Jeff, be specific for me. This is last weekend now. NASA's doing this scientific study in your bedroom. And uh, they said, Houston, we have a problem. What are they referring to? Um, me being asleep. You being asleep. Yeah. All right. She says, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. She was you, alone. You worked all last week and you weren't even there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're still asleep. I was asleep at work. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You missed that one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, shoot. He's going to miss more later. Yeah. Uh -oh. Um, I'm going to have to say uh, the fact that she wasn't there, or I wasn't there. Oh, nobody was there, huh? All right. Well, just one of us. Well, who wasn't there? You said her, and then you said you. She was out of town. Oh, I see. She said, we have a problem. There's, uh, there's too much sleep going on in this room. Uh -oh. <laughs> we were asleep, too. <laughs> How could you be asleep? She wasn't there. She was asleep in Chicago. <laughs> oh, David. I'd say that there was too much sleeping going on at NASA. Too much sleeping going on. Houston, we have a problem. There's too much sleeping going on. She oh. said, card please. No, she said there's too much activity going on. Well, you were sleeping well, there was that? the activity and then the sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I was enjoying myself. Where were you? <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> well, you're right about the old brain and body stuff. <laughs> He is stout, yeah. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem, Patrick. What was going on? She wasn't there. She wasn't there? She was at her grandparents' house, and I was asleep. All right. She said, Houston, we have a problem. There's a lack of action in this room. You were sick. Well, but you still weren't there. Well, I was there eventually. At three in the morning. But I was there. <laughs> okay, couples, thank you very much. Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Take a look. You should have no problem on this romantic trip to the Caribbean. <laughs> this day at the Grand Cross Beach Club in St. Martin, a small, secluded oceanfront resort with beautiful beach, fine cuisine, water sports, and tennis. An ideal second honeymoon from Grand Cross Beach Club. Back to you, Bob. Sounds like fun to me. Fabulous second honeymoon for one of our couples. And if you are ready, here is our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what room in your home has the brightest light bulb? Your answers must match exactly. What room in your home has the brightest light bulb? Let's go first to couple number one. David and Margie, you've got 10. 25 would give you 35. David, if you get it right, you're going to be in first place. If you miss it, you go home in last place. The kitchen. The kitchen. Congratulations, sir. Bedroom, she said. <laughs> He's stout. He's stout. Couple number two. Patrick and Jackie with 15. 25 would give you 40. Patrick, you get it right, you'll be in first place. The bedroom. The bedroom, she said. That's the living room. We just put the new bulb in. You complain about it being too bright. Well, there's two bulbs. Huh? Couple number four, Rich and Anne with 20. 25 would give you 45. Rich, if you get it right, you will be in first place. The bathroom. The bathroom, oh. she said. Uh, the bedroom. Oh. Couple number three, Jeff and Leslie with 25. 25 gives you 50. Jeff, what's your answer? Our bathroom. Bathroom, she said bathroom. <laughs> Jeff and Leslie, Landry. You're our really lucky grand prize winner. Thanks to all of our couples and thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.